All right, welcome back to the Pocket Horror Show. I'm the Pocket Man of Twin Weasel. And I'm Eddie Horror. And right now, we were talking about some pretty heavy-duty stuff. We're talking about the presidential election. And we have two crazy candidates. It's a crazy time for America. We got Donald Trump. We have uh, Hillary Clinton. And what's going to happen here in California? Well, um, my view is this in regard to the two major presidential candidates, the Democratic and the Republican, as uh, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. It doesn't matter who we vote for. In case some of you don't know, Parts Unknown is here in California. The reason I say it doesn't matter, historically, California is a democratic state. So, therefore, my prediction, if you will, my I can see into the future, whatever you want to call it, Hillary Clinton will win California. Not that Donald can't win. Historically, California is a democratic state, and that's the way it's going. But... What I'm more interested in is actually what bills are going to be on the ballot this year, which is what we're here to talk about. That's true. But, you know, well, let me just say this. because We, we talked about this before. Um, we have had Republicans make a strong name here in California. Of course. Of we, course we have. We had uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger was, yeah. a, was a governor. He was Republican. Gray Davis. Governor. I believe. Um, Pete Wilson as well. Governor. And uh, the, the almighty, the greatest president of all time, Ronald Reagan, was governor here of California. And he was also... Uh, one of the greatest uh, president. I think he might have won California when he was running for president. So it hasn't always been the case, but uh, it is the case now. And uh, well, so let's talk about some of the topics that are going to come out or uh, not topics, but measures and, and uh, ballots that are going to come out on the November ballot for California. One of the big ones, uh, which uh, we're having a hard time to wrapping our head around, is legalizing recreational marijuana. Now, I don't smoke marijuana. That's not my thing. I tried it when I was younger, multiple times when I was very young, and just kind of grew out of it fairly quickly. I mean, I was junior high when I tried it. By high school, I was done with it. Not really a, a choice of mine. I, you know, some people smoke it. That's on them. It doesn't bug me. You know, do what you're gonna do. Um, do I think it's great? Well, I mean, if the if the state can tax something to help pay off a debt, I'm for it. Um, I don't feel marijuana is one of those drugs that, I mean, there's proof that you can't get addicted to it. Oh, and and, and, and there's know. a lot of, there. look, there's a lot of back and forth on a lot of stuff we'll talk about. So whatever your choice is, let us know why. We're going to debate this and just see where it goes from there. You know, no, you mentioned that you think if there's something that the, the, the state can tax to get more money to relieve their debt, you know what, they're responsible for this debt. They need to find ways to be more efficient and pay for this debt. And I, I'll tell you what, the problems that are going to come from legalizing marijuana are not going to equal the tax that they think they're going to be making from, from this measure. I'm telling you. That may be true, but we won't know till it happens. No, Which no I, I believe it will happen. I, I, I can definitely, I know, I, I can definitely tell you the increased crime rate, increased um uh, unemployment rate, the the property crime, and not to mention the reduction of property values. If you happen to live next to these marijuana dispensaries, your property value is going to go way down. And so are the taxes that they're going to be collected, are they going to go to you as a property owner for, to offset your, your property value? Now, obviously, that's something that's not going to happen. But that's just the way it is. I mean, not everything's going to go in your favor. Everyone knows that. If they got to build a freeway here, guess what? Is it going to benefit you? No, it's not. That's just the way it is sometimes. And unfortunately, as a whole, we have to think as a whole, not just the property owners. You talk of crime. Okay, we have to look at Colorado. We have to look at Washington and, and the other men. Uh, Which I've heard around. they're having a problem keeping people employed because, you know, they're, they're missing work, showing up high, and, and it, it, it's become a big problem. But you don't hear about it in the left-wing media. I'm just going to put that out Yeah, there. and and again, I don't have stats in front of me, but maybe maybe that's the case. But, you know, this is still relatively new. It's It's been legal in these states for a, just a few years. I mean, there's going to be, a, eventually, there's going to be an offset. You, there's going to be those growing pains that you have to go through until things level out. I don't know, man. I, I don't want to take my chances with it. I don't see the benefit and the taxes. Who cares? That tax money is not going to go to me. It's not going to go to you. And I guarantee it doesn't matter how much tax money they make. They can make infinite amount of tax money. They're not going to lower your taxes and none of that money is going to come to your pocket. Of course it's not going to come to my pocket. So, I, I don't so expect why, so it. So why do we care? Well, it's going to pay off something. The state's <laughs> in debt. You know, 
for those that depend on some kind of government assistance, it's going to help out in some way, shape, or form. I'm not saying it's going to clear everything out. It's no, not. Man. I think, you know, you can't just throw money at problems like this. you got to see why is the government in debt? Why are there so many inefficiencies? Why is our educational system failing? And why is so much stuff going on? Throwing money at it is not the problem. It's not, it's not the answer. It's not the answer as a whole, but it could fix many things. The problem is we don't know what those many things are because there's going to be a lot of debates about what to do with this newly found income, as there always has been. So we're not going to know. Now, what about this? Where are you going to get the marijuana to sell legally? If you're going to grow it here in California, you're going to use a lot of water to grow it, water that would have been used uh, to grow food. We're the, the biggest food producer in, in, in all of the world, I, I, would, I think. Um, so now you're going to use that water and land to grow marijuana. There's already growers now. And marijuana doesn't only have to come to California. There's other states such as Oregon that produce a lot of it for the country so, and the world. So, so you're going you're gonna to cross uh, state lines with a federally regulated product. Look, there's, there's going to be plans in place. Look, I'm not saying it's the best thing ever. I'm just saying I'm for the legalization of marijuana. I mean, there's a lot of things that are worse out there. I think alcohol that's legal, tobacco is the worst thing now, wait you can a have wait in your a system. Wait a alcohol, again, coming from experience, people talk about gateway drugs, marijuana being a gateway drug. To me, the time I, you know, the, that year, year and a half, two years, whatever it was that I smoked marijuana, I, I never got the urge to try anything else. But now hold on, hold I, on. I've had alcohol and I've had the urge and I have tried other stuff. Now hold on. Now I can get alcohol and cigarettes from my local Smart and Final or Food for Less. No big deal. It's much different living next to a Food for Less than living next to a marijuana dispensary. Now you can see whenever, even if they legalize dispensaries, they put restrictions of uh, 500 feet from schools or, or from parks. You know, you don't see those restrictions from a supermarket. So there's obviously something very different between alcohol cigarettes and, and marijuana obviously there's something very different but that doesn't make them okay are, are yeah. you telling me you'd rather have someone smoke cigarettes than marijuana oh yeah without a doubt really all the tar and nicotine that's in there that's their they, lives they, no i understand <laughs> that's their lives but we're talking from a just a, a overall human body health standpoint no i'm not saying hey if you want to grow your own marijuana if you want to do your, your own thing Great, but but selling it and, and distributing in neighborhoods, it, it's very different. Uh, and I do think there's a difference. Now, I do I think uh, cigarettes and alcohol are good for you? Absolutely not. But two wrongs don't make a right. That, that's my big my big key. I you know I'm there with you, but we have a chance to make something legal. You know, you're saying crime <laughs> crime's gonna go up. You're gonna yeah. say taxes aren't gonna pay. You know, I don't have these stats for Colorado and Washington and who, whoever else. Who is, is it gonna under. help? That's my thing. Taxes, if they if they tax it, who is it benefiting? It's not going to benefit your neighborhood or my neighborhood. I'm not a politician. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have stats in front of me, but I'm just saying I would vote yes to legalize it. I vote absolutely 100% no. You know that that's just my thing. Um, I think that's the that's really the main one on the ballot. I can't think yeah. of anything else. There's some the people that were that are voting for. Fortunately, we don't have much choices. Here in California, there's two uh, Democratic people going for Barbara Boxer's seat who's retiring. Um, the euthanasia bill already passed. Uh, can't think of anything else. What will you vote for? Let us know what you'd vote for. Like, again, I think there's no way that throwing drugs into a community can in any way be good for anyone. You know, now I, I want to say one thing. When I was growing up, the people that distributed drugs in the neighborhood, those were the bad guys. Of course. And, and now we're saying that, no, let's no, let them no, in, no, let's, no, let's, no, let's no, invite no, them no. in. Okay, you're getting it all confused. No, no, I'm no, not no. saying think... I'm not saying, you know, Joe Drug Dealer can go out and sell. No, that's not what we're saying. We're saying there's going to be an establishment where someone can go buy this legally and What's go the from there. What's the difference? Clearly, you're not trying to hide it. You're not doing something, you know, you're not trying to beat out the other guy in the corner. You're running your own establishment. I, I don't know, man. And we've had a lot of problems in California with this. Now, what about when they realize, and I'm sure they already realize, 
that they can get their marijuana product much cheaper from Mexico. You know, that's just another whole thing to deal with. I mean, we talk about fireworks, too. <laughs> you know, you can get fireworks from Mexico, too. You know, it, it doesn't... People are always going to find a way to find something cheaper, something better. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing this up because a lot of people say that it's going to fight the drug cartels from Mexico and we're going to reduce their power. But I'm saying, no, we're going to figure out, you know what, it's going to be cheaper to grow it from there. And it's just going to increase their power. And maybe they're the ones who are actually pushing this bill and backing it financially. That could be it. You know, that makes a lot of sense. But until it all goes down, we're not really going to know. Or we may never even know. I also want to bring up one thing because in parts unknown, they have the city in all its infinite wisdom has legalized uh, medicinal dispensaries. And did you know that all the owners of the medicinal dispensaries do not live in parts unknown? Really? They live outside the city, and but they don't they don't establish their business in their own city, in their own backyards, in their own home. They they bring it here. Well, let me ask you this: How many business owners live in their own city? How many workers live in their own job? You know, enough. Well, I just say, hey, you know what? How about that? Let's say if you want to uh, open a legalized distribution or sell marijuana, you have to be in your own neighborhood. Well, a business doesn't always operate that way. A business needs to go where the money's at. Mm, 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 mm. Well, again, I just I don't see an upside. I really don't. And if, if we want to say taxes, it's not going to go to me. I, I worry about my I can take care of myself. I don't need to. The government to, to take care of me or to use my money for anything I, i'll take care of it myself so that, that's me i say vote 100 percent no let us know what you're going to vote for whether you're from parts unknown or not if you're outside of parts unknown outside of state of california what what's going to be on your bill this year let us know and let us know how you're going to vote pocket horror show peace bye